Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four K Scaler, and um, on this video, I want to talk about the OLED and QLED. Uh, as you all know, I have OLED and QLED, and I watch these televisions like every day, so I, I'm pretty much familiar with what OLED can do. And this is not my first time having OLED. I had C6. B6, C7, and now E8. So it's not my first rodeo, you know, having the OLED. I know exactly what OLED can do. Um, also, I'm not stranger to Samsung. I have KS8000 uh, television, Quantum Dot, way back in 2016. And uh, I now have a QLED television, full array local dimming Q8FN, which is right over here it's right over there there it is it's right there okay so um, and what I want to talk about here it's a couple of things by the way this is gears gears 5 Xbox one X uh, I want to talk about its couple of things number one for whom is OLED really intended for and this is the one question that people ask me like non-stop constantly I, I get this question asked for whom is OLED really intended for well it's in my opinion really intended for individuals who care about picture quality like if you are somebody who truly cares about like squeezing the best possible picture quality uh, for your games, your movies, your, your television content, then you really are not going to be disappointed by OLED. Uh, especially if you're coming from an LCD, LED backlit television, I think you're going to appreciate just what the OLED can do. Now, the reason why OLED is so good for the picture quality, it's because it's a emissive technology. It's using organic light emitting diodes uh, and it's emitting every and each pixel 8.3 million pixels are being emitted from this television there is no LCD inside of it there is no LED light backlit coming from from the back of it it's emitting by itself meaning you're gonna get the best possible viewing angle you're gonna get the perfect best possible uh, forget the best possible perfect you're gonna get perfect viewing angles perfect contrast ratio and you're gonna get a perfect color representation because of the fact that every and each pixel it's emitting by itself the green's gonna be as green as it can be the dark black uh, pixels are gonna be as dark as they can be the white Pixels are going to be as white as they can be. The, the red's going to be as red as it can be, and green's going to be as green as it can be, and yellow is going to be as yellow as it can be. All right. Now, on the LCD liquid crystal liquid crystal display, which is really now uh, twenty something, twenty eight years, uh, not tw I'll say twenty. 23 years or maybe maybe longer I would say let's say 25 years uh, it's a 25 year old technology that has proven itself to work really well and it's been used by monitors it's been used by God so many uh, television manufacturers okay till the plasma came along Let's just say the LCD liquid crystal display, it's around 28 years old, okay? Let's just put it, let's just circle it that, okay? I don't have a Google with me to, to look into to see exactly how old liquid crystal display is. You guys can Google it. Besides the point, what I'm trying to say here is LCD technology, it's always going to require some sort of light to project through that liquid crystal display otherwise you won't be able to see any image okay all right meaning you got to have some sort of light meaning you gotta have LEDs you gotta have 
LED backlits or edge lits. You gotta have LED lights behind that LCD ca uh, canvas to lit it up. Now, sure, LCD has advanced uh, with a different type of technology. These quantum dots, these little crystals, okay, little microscopic crystals, when you shine the light through them, you get a much better uh, spectrum of colors. So it helps with the full white color gamut. That was the one benefit of Samsung KS8000 was the quantum dots that really enhanced the uh, HDR and white color gamut. This is way before the OLED came on scene. Once the OLED came on scene, it, it turned the tables, okay? Uh, so what I'm trying to say is this. Uh, you are never going to be able to achieve this type of level of, of detail and accuracy in terms of picture quality with a LCD quantum dot LED backlit television. I mean, it doesn't really matter how many local dimmings they put. It doesn't really matter how many quantum dots they put in there. I don't care. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of, you know, uh, zones they're using to uh, regulate that bleeding light. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. That light has to go through somewhere. Meaning you're never going to have the best possible viewing angle. You're gonna, probably going to get the best viewing angle that you can get for an LCD television, but you're never going to be able to compete and to have the viewing angle the way the OLED has. What I'm trying to say for the last time, hopefully, hopefully for the last time, what I'm trying to say here is to you is if you are thinking that somehow that there's some magical LCD, LED backlit television out there that's going to be able to destroy the OLED, that's going to be able to surpass the OLED in terms of... Uh, viewing angles in terms of uh, picture quality I think you're just you're gonna you're just fooling yourself you're pretty much just fooling yourself you're lying to yourself uh, and you're not doing yourself any favor by doing that guys you have to understand uh, how these panels work Okay, and what I'm trying to do here, I'm not trying to tell you, okay, go ride this horse, don't ride that horse. As you can see, I have QLED, I have OLED, I have three, two 3D TVs, I have, you know, uh, projectors, I have monitors. You know that I'm not riding one horse over the other horse. I'm just simply here trying to tell you how these technologies work and why they're so different, all right? Now, does this mean that the QLED, oh, you shouldn't buy a QLED? No. QLED is a good TV. A, I mean, I like it. It's a good TV. It's not the best TV ever made, but it's definitely a good TV. Okay? You're going to enjoy uh, 4K. You're going to enjoy HDR, especially with the highest peak brightness. But there's some stuff missing. There's no Dolby Vision on the QLED. Uh, and there's no... Let me see what else it's missing. Well, I think it's just Dolby Vision that it's missing, okay? There's no Dolby Vision. Uh, however, you do have a much higher peak brightness, which is going to benefit your HDR gaming and your HDR movies, all right? Especially if you're going to be watching that QLED in a very lit up room, all right? The, the, the question you got to ask yourself, guys, is... What's, what is it that's important to me? Like, what am I looking for? What do I want? What's, what's important to me? Well, that's something where <clears throat> I simply cannot answer that for you. I'm just here to tell you that if you are out there this holiday season, this holiday season, you know, maybe you want to play Gears, you want to buy the Gears, uh, you know, Xbox One X, Gears 5 limited edition console, and you're looking... To, to get a really good TV and you're maybe thinking you know if I go with a QLED maybe I can still achieve that similar 
uh, picture quality that the OLED has, you're just fooling yourself, man. Simply, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. And I wish that I could have you guys be here with me in this room so I can show you side by side this QLED here and this OLED here to show you side by side just so you can see that no, you can't. They're two different technologies. This is a still LCD. This this panel here, which is the uh, QLED, okay? This is still an LCD, all right? It's still an LCD panel, all right? Maybe I should uh, go ahead and turn it on just to show you something really quick. I'll, I'll just turn it on just to show you, all right? Do you notice how it's how the light it's bright here L let me show you something here really quick uh, I'm gonna show you something here really quick and I want you guys to to see this just give me a second I'm gonna click on something here and I want you guys to uh, to to look at this. Do you notice? Here, let's let's click on my video here, really quick. Uh, let's click on my video here, really quick. I want to show you something here. All right, th that's me. That's me right there. Uh, do you notice right away how uh, the, there is uh, brightness? How uh, when you look at the OLED here? you don't you don't see any of that bleeding light here you see that bleeding light especially in, in from the sides when you're looking at from the sides you see that bleeding light here you don't see that bleeding light but here you do see it that's because this is still an lcd panel okay it's a liquid crystal display and it still is emitting led lights from the back passing it through LCD and those quantum dots photons to give you the image so you can see it all right however that's what you're gonna be always getting with an LCD all right so it's really important here that's not the case do you know why that's not the case here because this is a emissive technology okay it's a, a emissive technology and it's a better technology than what you got here. Now, also, another important thing I want to say is that just because this is LCD, LED, backlit with quantum dots and full array local dimming, that doesn't mean that it's you're gonna you're gonna have a terrible picture quality. QLED, it's probably the best LCD panel. Let me let me say it one more time. The QLED, Samsung's, Q, Samsung's QLED, it's probably the best uh, LCD panel. Next to Z9D, Z9F, and probably 930E. Um, hell, even 900E. Which I still have. It's still a great panel. My TCLR six seventeen, which I have over here, is still a great panel because it's using photons. It's the same thing. It's a quantum dots photons technology, which I'll have to talk about TCL a little bit more because I haven't talked about TCL that much lately. Uh, but you see, the thing is, hey, let me show you something really quick. Okay, let's pause this. I want to pause this really quick. And then, uh, hold on. Just give me a second here. I want to show you something really quick. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my YouTube channel on the OLED. And I'm going to um, click on the same video, my video over here. Uh, and then you're going to see what a difference it makes okay now look at this this is the uh, the OLED and this is the QLED you tell me where's more light 
where do you see more light? You see more bleeding light here because there's LEDs. There's very bright 1500 nits LEDs. They're coming through, passing through LCD panel, okay? Here, well, guess what? Here, it's like you're looking at an aquarium, like a real aquarium, okay? And it looks as, as, as real as it can be. Here, that's not the case. Or let's just, for example, let's just go ahead and check. Let's go click on my video. Okay, where's my video? Let's go to my videos. And uh, there it is. Let's 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 click on my video and let's compare it. Let's play them both, both together. There it is. Let's play this one as well. And you tell me. Do you see any bleeding light here? No, you don't. Here you do. Here you do. Here you don't. Here you do. Here you don't. Okay. So I really hope that I hope I hope you guys are not confused. I might do a Q&A live. Sh you know what? I might do a Q&A tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a Q&A tomorrow. And um, reason why, it's because I think it's time that I do a uh, Q&A tomorrow. Because I think you guys need to... Um, I need to explain it to you a little bit better. And I know you guys have a lot of questions, so I think maybe I should do a Q&A tomorrow. And I think if I do a Q&A tomorrow, you guys can ask me some questions regarding this. And then hopefully I can start Gears 5 again. I'm going to try Gears 5. I'm going to try to do it tomorrow again. You know, hopefully everything works out. Uh, hopefully I don't have any issues. I might have to tone down my graphics settings. I'll put it to high instead of ultra. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to keep my settings at high instead of ultra and see how that works. And uh, maybe medium to high or, or just high settings and leave it like that and see how it works. All right, guys. So, well, there you have it. I hope that um, this video was at least a little bit informative. Uh, I know for some of you who don't understand how this works uh, you're probably confused this might be a, like a alien language to you but I'm trying to do my best here to you know explain to you the difference now of course this is the brightest TV because it's using very bright LEDs what do you see on the emergency lights on you know the emergency squad cars police cars police cars and, and the uh, ambulance what do you see you see LEDs, very high lumens LED lights. They're the brightest. LEDs are the brightest. There's nothing brighter than LED. So, so this is going to look brighter. However, you're not going to have the best viewing angle if you care about the angle. Here, you're not getting the brightest TV because uh, the organic light emitting diodes, they cannot reach over 1000 nits peak of brightness that's the one caveat that kind of sucks about the OLED at the moment but that might change with the micro LEDs uh, and we'll see there's also talks about QLED with OLED and of course micro LEDs so there's so much happening in you know the laboratories they're working on it anyway I hope this video was a little bit informative and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll keep you posted on my live stream. And there'll probably be a Q&A tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Have a good one, though. Take care.